Okay, in this demonstration, we have two different chemicals. Uh, first, this is a clear liquid. This is potassium iodide or Ki. See how it says AQ here, so we know that this has been dissolved into solution. Then we have lead nitrate, which is the PbNO3. Also, we see the AQ, so we know that this is also dissolved into solution. So both of these start off as powders, and I mixed them with water, and we got these two clear solutions. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them together into this flask, and we're gonna see what happens. So first we'll put the Ki in. Okay. You can ignore the green little floaty thing there. That's actually a, a, a thing off of my chemistry that somehow got in there. Um, and then now we're gonna add the lead to nitrate, and we'll see what happens inside of here. And as soon as we add it, we get a really obvious kind of chunky yellow kind of color that comes from this. Okay, and if I swirl it, you almost can see that the yellow is actually a solid. It is um, sticking to the sides of the container. There's still liquid in here, but there's like a really fine powdered solid in here. And I'm going to leave it sit, and maybe we'll actually see it settle out as we talk about some additional things over here. Okay. So when we run the reaction, we had Ki, aqueous. We reacted it with the lead nitrate, uh, which is also aqueous. Those are our two solutions here and here. And then what we made is we made a switch. So our potassium and our lead, they switched places, okay? So the two metals switched places. So then the potassium, or the K, ended up with the nitrate. That actually stayed in solution, so that was still liquid in solution. And then the lead now ended up with the iodide. And when lead and iodide get together, they don't dissolve in water, so they end up being solid. So that is what our yellow material is, is this PBI2, or the lead iodide, is actually what we get for that yellow solid inside of there, okay? Now, if we had more time in this, what we could do is we could take this solution and run it through some filter paper and we could possibly um, filter out the yellow. And I'll hopefully have a chance to show you that in class. Uh, but we can't do that in the scope of this video here. But if you look at the bottom, you can kind of see there's two layers developing here. Where there's a, that top layer looks more clear and that the yellow layer is settling towards the bottom here. So we can see that solid that is forming inside of here, okay? So we call this a double displacement reaction where we precipitate or we create that solid.